The presence of the renowned Michael Schumacher, once a dominant figure in public platforms, has become a bit of a distant memory. Regrettably, this Formula One legend, considered the greatest of all time, GOAT, fell victim to a severe brain injury during a fateful skiing expedition in 2013. Since then, updates on his condition have been scarce, leaving the Formula One community perplexed and yearning for information. In this video, we shall delve into the latest developments unfolding a tale of tragedy. However, before we go into the sombre details, a remarkable revelation demands our attention. The legendary former team boss Eddie Jordan steps forward with breaking news concerning Schumacher's health. His words gripped our collective consciousness as he painted a picture of a man whose physical presence still exists, yet his state of mind resides in an alternate reality. This confounding circumstance takes hold of our imagination. Moreover, Jordan discloses that Mick, Schumacher's own son, displays exceptional compassion by reaching out to him, despite grappling with his own challenges in the realm of racing. It is a testament to the strength of familial support. As the narrative unfolds, the plot thickens with a truly dramatic twist. Schumacher undergoes a groundbreaking stem cell transplant, a procedure that unfolded before the eyes of a captivated national audience in France. The event unfolds like a riveting primetime spectacle, one that no viewer can afford to miss. Expert opinions emerge, with neurologist Eric Ritterer suggesting that Schumacher dwells in a state of wakefulness, yet he fails to respond, which is akin to a vegetative condition. However, the question lingers, did Ritterer form his theory based on personal observation or from mere conjecture? This mystery deepens. Amidst all the uncertainty, a glimmer of hope emerged as reports indicated that Schumacher had undergone cutting-edge stem cell therapy under the watchful supervision of renowned surgeon Felipe Menesash. Let us all unite and keep our fingers crossed for an extraordinary recovery. Now, let us rewind to that tragic day when Schumacher's life took an unexpected turn. Picture, if you will, a radiant day kissed by the sun on the majestic slopes of the Maribel Ski Resort nestled in the breathtaking French Alps. Schumacher, an experienced skier, relished in quality family time with his beloved son and a close-knit group of friends. Little did they know that a calamity of immense proportions lay in wait. Suddenly, like a bolt out of the blue, disaster struck. Schumacher collided with a colossal rock and caused him to tumble down the slopes, landing with a heart-wrenching impact on his head. Despite the protective measures of a very sturdy helmet, the force of the impact inflicted a grave brain injury upon the intrepid racing hero. It was a moment that no one who held him in such adoration ever thought would occur. Physicians later revealed that had it not been for the safeguard of the headgear, the racing icon might have been completely lost. Without wasting a precious moment, Schumacher was swiftly transported to Grenoble University Hospital, where a team of dedicated medical professionals sprang into action. Two intricate surgeries aimed to alleviate the swelling within his brain. To increase the chances of recovery, he was placed in a medically induced coma. As time progressed, Schumacher was relocated to the esteemed University Hospital of Lausanne in picturesque Switzerland. The remarkable medical journey undertaken by our cherished champion captivated the world's attention. As we navigate through this rather tumultuous journey alongside Schumacher and his unwavering family, the road to recovery seemed to emerge as a long and arduous one. Nevertheless, the determination and unyielding support surrounding him served as a wellspring of inspiration for him and his family. The racing world collectively held its breath, unified in hope and anticipation for a triumphant return of our hero. We're going to delve now into the incredible strength and resilience of Schumacher's devoted family, led by his wife, Karina. They've become the heart and soul of communication, diligently updating fans at times on Schumacher's behalf. Last year witnessed a momentous occasion when Karina and their daughter Gina stood on a stage accepting an award that celebrated Schumacher's remarkable contributions to German communities. This rather bittersweet moment brimmed with pride and longing for the man that they held so dear. Karina, with unwavering honesty, openly acknowledged that Schumacher had been profoundly changed by the accident. 
It has left a huge mark on his life. However, she emphasized that despite these changes, he does remain an integral part of their lives. Their connection transcends the boundary of words and surpasses the physical limitations imposed by his condition. They draw strength from his unwavering spirit, their love acting as an unbreakable bond propelling them forward. Together they fiercely protect his privacy and created a sanctuary for his rehabilitation and therapy. Gene Todd, the former CEO of Ferrari and a cherished friend, stood as a beacon of support for Schumacher and his family. He has personally visited Schumacher a number of times, offering words of encouragement and sharing uplifting updates. According to Todd, Schumacher's fighting spirit remains unyielding. He is a true warrior, refusing to surrender to the adversities that he faces. An unbreakable determination resonates within the family too as they all rally together, fighting tooth and nail to help with his recovery. The love, the support they're offering are nothing short of heartwarming and a testament to the depth of their devotion to their dad. Piero Ferrari, son of legendary Enzo Ferrari, also stepped forward to shed light on Schumacher's presence. While acknowledging that Schumacher may be struggling to communicate in the traditional sense, Piero firmly believed that his essence endures. It's as if the flame that burns within him still shines brightly, illuminating the path for those who love him and are around him. This profound connection between Schumacher and his family, serving as a powerful reminder of the enduring spirit that defined him as a racing legend. Brace yourself, those, for a twist that occurred in this convoluted tale. Only a select few are granted access to see Schumacher in person, and the key to these cherished visits lies in the hands of Karina. She is the guardian of his privacy. She carefully orchestrates a very limited circle of individuals that are allowed to enter their inner sanctum. This decision has ignited a firestorm of controversy, particularly from Schumacher's former manager, Willie Weber, who claims to have been unjustly locked out and left completely in the dark about Schumacher's condition. Tensions have escalated and accusations flown, with Weber accusing Karina of marginalizing his involvement with drama ensuing. Yet amidst the swirling enigma surrounding Schumacher's condition, one fact remains resolute. His fighting spirit and his unparalleled legacy in Formula One continue to radiate brightly to this day. The hashtag Keep Fighting Michael emerged as a powerful symbol of his unyielding tenacity. It has spurred the establishment of the Keep Fighting Foundation, an organization that perpetuates Schumacher's charitable endeavors. Through this foundation, his impact on the world transcends the racetrack and has left a big mark on the lives of countless individuals around the world. Fellow racing enthusiasts, although we may lack all the answers concerning Schumacher's health and his condition, one thing certainly remains. The Formula One community and fans around the world ardently support his recovery. The outpouring of love and encouragement reflects the enduring impression that he made on the sport. Let us maintain our hope, rev our engines and channel positive energy toward Schumacher's journey. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Make sure to hit the bell icon so you'll always get the very latest from us first.